right, stranger. You can drop those guns. What's your name? What are you doing here? Well, my name is Johnson. I'm on my way to Black Springs. Who are you, road agents? We'll ask the questions, mister. What do you want in Black Springs? I'm a gambler. Sure you ain't got a badge on you somewhere? I said I was a gambler. Search him. You always welcome strangers like this? Black Springs is a nice little place, and we aim to keep it just the way it is. Don't want any outsiders with other ideas moving in. All right, Johnson. Welcome to Black Springs. But you watch your step, because somebody else will be watching it, too. I've seen that face before. Sure wish I could remember where. I'll send Mike out to relieve you as soon as I get back to the shack. Good news. Got the deed to the Erickson place. Yeah, we saw him heading east a while ago. Did you get a good price? My price. Only had one visitor today, a fella called himself Johnson. Says he's a gambler. Well, I hope he brought a lot of cash. The boys can use some. Now we searched him and didn't find a thing. In that case, we're not interested. Sure wish I could remember where I saw that face. By the way, some of the boys went over old man Small's trap line. Got themselves enough furs for next winter. Furs, trap line. Now I remember, that's it. You remember what? When I was in jail in St. Louis, I read a story about the greatest guide and trapper in the world. Kit Carson. I don't quite get the connection. Well, I saw his picture, and he looked a dead ringer for the gambler. Just how sure are you, Miller? I bet my bottom dollar. Let's get back into town and check. Doesn't pay to slip up on details. of this beautiful saddle is $20. And for nothing more extra, I'll tell your name in the letter. Couldn't do no good, Bob. You see, it's for one of my boys. Well, uh, maybe I can tell his name in it. Well, I better think about it. Si, senor, something for you? I've got a saddle I don't care too much for. I'd like to make a trade. Certainly. What did you have in mind? Oh, something like that. Delighted, senor. Well, that one's mine. Oh, I see what you mean. You'd like something better. I was worried about you. They watch strangers closely here. So I found out. How you been doing? Much progress. You'll see tonight. I was stopped on the trail and searched. I told him my name was Johnson. And he also was a gambler. Oh, lucky they didn't find this on you, or you suddenly would have found your heart had stopped beating. You better hide it just in case. I've arranged for you to meet secretly with the leader of the Citizens Committee tonight. Good. So you recommend that the War Department build a fort down in the river? Uh -huh. That will not please some people here. Those are the men that stopped and searched me on the trail this morning. They're the henchmen of the Baron, the man who runs Black Springs. If my business here wasn't official, I'd like to have a little talk with one of those guys. Now, keep your temper. Remember the last time? It's Mr. Johnson, and Mr. Johnson can't afford to have a temper. Shall we try on the new saddle?
There's his horse in front of the saddle store. I'll take a walk. Cover me from inside. Poor bitch, you don't get him the first shot. You got yourself a bet. Well, Kit Carson, what brings you clear out here? Well, how do you do, sir? But I'm afraid I can't accept the compliment. My name is Johnson. Oh, I get it. Don't want anyone to recognize you, huh? Oh, not exactly, but if people don't recognize me, then I can't make a living. I'm a gambler. You sure look like Carson to me. I wouldn't know. I've never seen the man. Say, could you be the man the two of the boys were telling me about that had a little misunderstanding? I could. That's funny. They said you didn't have any money. How do you intend to gamble? I just made a trade on the saddle. <laughs> this Johnson drives a hard bargain. You better be careful, Mr. Barron. I always am. Well, Johnson, as long as you're here, allow me to give you a little friendly advice. Just stick to gambling. When you're broke and ready to leave, be sure you see me first. Otherwise, you won't get far. That was the Baron. So I gathered. I wonder where he got the idea I was Kit Carson. Well, maybe he heard about you working for the War Department. You heard him say how careful he always is. Right. Which means we have to be twice as careful. Tonight at midnight. Uh, the room and house is just on the street, Mr. Johnson. Thank you. I could have plugged him easy, boss. Not yet, Miller. If he is Carson, we'll make him talk and find out what he's doing here in Black Spring. What did he say? Same thing he told you. Now, Luke will be here in a day or two. He claims to have tangled with Carson twice. He'll know. What if this Johnson decides to check out before Luke gets here? He won't. Just pass the word along to our trail watchers. Right. And until this thing is settled, keep alert. Don't worry, we will. Sure this fellow will show up? I hope so. It took me a long time to get his confidence. It'd have been easy if it'd been a girl, eh, Tara? No, he has a daughter. Bella. Bella bellissima. Ah, oh, so that explains it. Come in quickly. Is this the man? Senor Langley? Meet Kit Carson. How do I know you're Kit Carson? How do I know this isn't another one of the Baron's traps? Some scars, eh? Kit Carson once killed a grizzly bear with only a knife. It's a famous thing. Where do you think I got these scars? From a grizzly bear, Mr. Carson. Please consider this your home. You understand why I questioned you, Kit. There aren't many of us left on the citizen committee. I know what you mean. There isn't a jury in Black Springs would dare testify against him or any of his men. There will be when they're backed up by the United States Army. What do you mean by that? I'm going to recommend to the War Department that a fort be built here. That's why I asked you to bring a list of crimes and witnesses. We'll bring in a federal judge and get rid of this Baron in a hurry. As it is now, witnesses are afraid to testify against Baron, but with a fort and soldiers here to protect them, I'm sure things would be different. As soon as I can get this information back to Washington, there will be a difference, Mr. Langley. Thank you very much. I'll get the list now and put it under the front door. It'll take about a half hour. Good. Goodbye, Carson. Goodbye, sir. When are you leaving, Kit? As soon as Langley gets back with the information. Pleasant dreams, amigo. Perhaps if you're lucky, tomorrow you'll meet with the lovely Senorita Langley. Oh, I could never be that lucky. I'll consider myself lucky if I just get out of here alive with that information. Gossip. Go What's the matter? That's what we're going to find out. Come on. Up pretty late, aren't you, Langley? I didn't know there was a curfew in Black Springs. Maybe you know something about the Citizens Committee. Maybe there was a meeting tonight. I don't know what you're talking about. Now get out of my way. Just a minute. Let's see what he's got on him. Looks like we hit pay dirt. A list of all the things we did to the Citizens Committee and names of the witnesses. Baron will sure be interested in this. Yeah, let's get him to the shack. Ah, 
senorita. This wonderful morning is made twice as beautiful by your presence. Have you seen my father? I'm terribly worried he didn't come home last night. You mean you haven't seen him since? No, not since he left to see you and your friends. Oh, Kit, this is senorita Cora, the daughter of senor Langley. Oh, pleased to know you, Miss Cora. She's worried. Senor Langley did not come back last night. She does not know where he is. I waited up for him all night. I was frightened because he said he didn't know whether this was a trap or not. Believe me, it's no trap. I came here to help you and your father, Miss Cora. And if anything has happened to him, I'm sure that the Baron suspects. I never saw the Baron move so fast before. Maybe if I trail him, I'll find out why. We'll do everything we can, Miss Carr. yelling, that's all. You're being a fool, Langley. Just who were you going to give this list to? Talk! Come on, talk! Wasting more time on him. Luke will be back in town by now. Here's Saunders. He can watch the place. Langley's inside. Stick around. They tried to get me to talk. It was at me all last night. Did you tell them anything? Not a thing. Well, how about the list? The Baron's men took it away from me, but I have another one here. Finally, getting that report to Washington means more than your life and my life put together. There's always the Pony Express, Kit. It doesn't leave until Friday. Friday? It leaves this afternoon. The schedule was changed last week. Toro should have told me. Here, you stay here and play possum. Service, Did you get the list? Kid? Yes. The Pony Express schedule has been changed. It leaves today. Well, I would not. I got nobody to write to. Well, I have. The water bottle. Cora, I want you to take a little walk and do some window shopping. 
And when you go by the Pony Express office, I want you to stop in a mail. But what about you? I'll leave the same time the Pony Express rider does. You stay undercover in case there's any excitement. All right. Goodbye, kid. Goodbye, Cora. Okay, Luke. You think you'll recognize him? Sure I will if it's Kit Carson. I'll never forget that face. Well, if it's him, give us a signal. It's gonna take more than one man to handle him. Just do as you're told. You'll get plenty of help. Luke don't seem very happy. I won't be happy either. So this thing is cleared up. the signal. It's Kit Carson, all right. Go get him. You're just in time for the party, mister. Que pasa? Never mind. Cross the street. All right, move. Well, gentlemen, this is a pleasure. Not ours. That's entirely up to you, Carson. I trust you'll cooperate with me more than you have. Have I a choice? No. Langley's made a full confession, told us everything. I don't believe it. I think you're bluffing. You better answer a few questions or you'll see. minute and I'll lose my patience. Suppose we try this one for a while. See what that's all about. It's just the Pony Express rider, boss. The Pony Express? Of course. Miller, hurry over to the station and see if any mail's gone out to Washington. Did anything go out in the mail for Washington? Now, just a minute, young fella. You heard me. Oh, for Washington? Why, why, yes. Uh, something for the War Department. Miss Langley just mailed it a little bit. Cora Langley mailed a letter to the War Department. That's it. Get out there and pick up that Pony Express rider and bring that letter back to me. Well, gentlemen, the question period is over. And if that letter contains what I think, it'll be your death warrant. You're not dealing with frightened ranches. You're dealing with the United States government. The United States government will never receive your letter or know what happened to you. It was a nice try, Carson. Ooh. Nice work, Langley. Stay with him. Yeah, we got work to do. Your father's in there, Cora.
stopped and we're rushing. Take care of the rider, I'll get him. You never thank you enough, Kit. I owe you some thanks too, sir. Farewell, senorita. You shall always be in my dreams. Your dreams must be getting a little crowded, eh, Toro? Well, adios. Uh -huh.